All right, for this question, it's a, it's a classic equation of a circle question. Now, you may ask, well, how do you know it's equation of a circle? Well, again, it's one of those things where you have x squared and y squared together. Um, usually, if it's a quadratic equation, you usually only have one of these things squared, usually x squared. But when you see x squared and y squared, at least for this level on the ACT, on the SAT, sorry, um, it's usually going to be equation of a circle. Now, even if you're not quite sure about that, begin to move like terms together. So this x squared, I'm going to add it with this 4x, and then I'm going to do this y squared to this 2y, and this is equal to minus 1. And again, this is beginning to look like, hey, there's a quadratic here, there's a quadratic here, but those two quadratics together become the equation of a circle. Now, uh, you might be familiar with the concept of completing the squares and that's essentially what we need to do here we need to complete the squares of this because you could see that this is kind of like a developing quadratic but it's not like income it's incomplete so we need to complete it and this part is like a quadratic equation as well and it's incomplete and we need to complete it and we're going to leave this minus one on this side so watch how i do this i'm going to take this x squared plus 4x here and i'm going to do something to it and i'm going to say and this is the completing the square method um the completing the square concept if the quest concept goes this way if you have an incomplete quadratic you just take this middle num number which is the number in front of the x and in your mind divide it by two okay so half it divided by two which is going to give you two and then square that number which is going to be four and then add that four at the end here so that's the way you complete this x squared piece so let's go back to this y squared piece and we're going to do something similar. We're going to try to complete that as well. Go to this middle one, divide it by 2. If you divide minus 2 by 2, you get minus 1. Square minus 1, you would get plus 1. So and you add that to it. So this plus 4 and this plus 1 are the two things that we got from dividing the middle by 2 and squaring the result to get these numbers. And all of that is equal to this minus 1. But very interesting thing you have to do with the completing the square method is you have to add the two things you generated here to this one. Okay, so this plus 4, I have to add it here. This plus 1, I have to add it here. So what we now have is um, this. Now, we need to clean this up um, and get this in a um, factorized form. Um, what, does, what do I mean by that? So the way you do that is you're going to pretty much need to get something in here squared plus something in here squared. And all of this is equal to, obviously, we want to add all this up. But as you can see, this will cross out, and that's just going to be 4. So what goes in here is a question. Well, what goes in here is a very simple task. Well, since this, these are all in x, just make that x. Since these are all in y, make that y. And then all you need to do here is take the number you got when you divided this by 2. Remember, we divided this by 2, and we squared it to get this 4. So what did we get when we divided this by 2? We got plus 2. That's what goes in here. What did we get? When we divided this by two, we go minus one. That's what goes in here. So this is a very fixed setup. You just have to kind of memorize this method. I'd even suggest you go online and come up with worksheets of how to do completing the square. And that's the technique we're using there, completing the square. So um, based on that, this is it. This is a equation of a circle um, setup. Now you would say, well, how do you know that's equation of a circle? Because the formula for the equation of a circle, it actually goes like this. It's x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equal to r equal to r squared as you can see that looks very similar to what i have up here this a and b being the equation the center of a circle so i'm going to draw a circle and i'm going to describe what's going on a little bit here so if i have a circle okay this um a here and this b are pretty much your a b center of the circle and the radius of the circle is r, and that's what this r is, r squared. So if this radius was um, 8, this r squared would be 64, and so on and so forth. So based on this, um, we are ready to answer this question, because this question did say, what is the radius of the circle radius? Well, as you could see, that this r squared part matches this 4. So essentially, r squared is 4, so r is 2. If you just do the square root of both sides, and that's your answer. The answer here is A. So this question really requires you, on the new SAT, this is the first time they're bringing up um, really high-level quadratics, um, using a quadratic formula a lot. You're using um, completing the squares a lot, and that's pretty much how to do this question. So it's one of those questions you want to probably press rewind and play it a couple of times. Just really hear me break each, each part of this down so that you truly get it.